In today's video, it is all about those props. Stay tuned! So when you start VIP Kids, you're probably thinking, I have to have all these props? Do I have to have a prop for everything? <laughs> no, you don't. You can use what is called TPR. So if you're talking about swimming, for example, then you can just swim. So not everything has to have a physical prop, but your body is probably your most important prop. Your facial expressions like, I am happy, I am sad. Or like swimming, jumping, you can just jump. There are different um, things that you can have that can help you. Um, I have big alphabet cards. So when we talk about big F, little F, or small F, or for the older kids, capital F, lowercase F. But, and I just printed these off. Um, I can't remember if I found these or if I made these. I don't remember. Um, you can go get a small whiteboard. I happen to have this from when I taught. I got this like 15 years ago with the highlights. Um, a long time ago when I was teaching uh, kindergarten. It is magnetic. It had the magnetic poetry in there. I just used the back of it. Um, but really any small magnetic board will work. I also have this magnetic board that I wanted to show you. Um, I like, I've been using this more for storage because for the space that I uh, teach in, the camera distance, this is really too big um, for me to use properly in the camera. So I need to get a smaller one. Um, so I'm using it to store all of my alphabet letters. Now let me tell you, I bought, I don't have them next to me, I bought like fridge magnets um, to help like when we're studying the AM family. <laughs> Except, um, they, yes I got a couple of the vowels, but like, you know, if I wanted to, to say pop, I need two letter P's. So I just decided to make my own and I did and I printed them off and um, I made the vowels a different color because I wanted to showcase those. So today I had a lesson where we studied am. And so what I do is I prep ahead of time and I put all of my letters on this board. So if they, um, I put them right up here and the lesson materials will tell you what you are working on, what letters they are working on. But sometimes I throw up letters that they, that aren't on the screen to see if they can apply what they have learned. And I don't hold it back here because my lights tend to shine on it. Usually I bring it a little closer to the camera and am. Yes, Ram. And then once we've done a couple of them, then all I have to do is, and then they usually get it. Um, I, I hold it closer or further away. So that's, this is probably one of my most used props is this, it's about eight and a half by 11 um, sheet. And uh, the letters that I made have been using like crazy since I made them. My next most used prop is my whiteboard. Now I found these little paddle whiteboards at the Dollar Tree in my town. Um, I'm not sure you can get them other places. I do know that they're on the Dollar Tree website, so if it ships to your area pick you up some. I have, a, I have about four of them um, that I use and then I use, well obviously the markers, <laughs> but I use this little cup like crazy. This is the cup that my magnetic letters came in. Um, yes, they house my markers, but um, we, we talk about in, I place the markers in the cup. Um, they are out of the cup on top of the cup so they help me with prepositions also in here i store little um question cards that i found in one of the facebook groups um 
I'm like, what is your favorite number? Uh, because, you know, sometimes you get stuck in a rut asking them, what's your favorite color? How old are you? Sometimes you want to know something else, especially if it's a regular that you're seeing more often, then you might want to um, ask them something else. Get to know them a little better so you can cater your rewards or, you know, something towards them. So, whiteboard, I use it a lot to write the letters if it's something real quick or to explain something drawing on it um yeah quite a bit now the other props are going to kind of depend on what level that you teach the most um or if you're brand new you may only be teaching level one for example so you may not need like i have a shark and a dolphin uh, because of the upper levels that talk about mammals and fish and reptiles um, but in my lower levels um, I use furniture a lot particularly bed and bananas um, we eat a lot of bananas at my house so I usually have a real banana that I show them but I have this just in case I don't have one and then um, I am working on getting some fake fruit but for now, I have Apple. You are going to use Apple in just about any of the levels. I haven't taught all of them, so I could be wrong on every single one, but pr pretty close. Uh, because we sometimes the slides will have uh, several of the apples, and then you'll be teaching like those apples these are markers but those and this and that um, a lot of fruit mango is another one but I don't have a mango so get you a mango I use cat a lot I don't have a stuffed cat oddly enough I've got three kids and no stuffed cat but dog is the is my is my go-to here dog is used quite a bit then uh, bus, I use bus a lot for the letter B, for the color yellow. Um, these are my go-to props. The only other thing that I use on a pretty regular basis is Minicam. In Minicam, um, I use the custom area to show my Google Slides, um, which you have seen in another video. I forgot another prop that I use pretty regularly is ball now I have a soccer ball and uh, my boys have a basketball but it is never in this room so I usually just use this ball for ball for soccer for playing um, we teach playing and so get yourself a ball this one is inflatable as you can see and um, I have also used it to teach sphere in the upper grades, upper, upper grades, upper levels. Now with Minicam, one of the things that I have started doing is I have started using the draw feature. Um, I have a, I have a Surface Pro and that has the little pin, but you can get a stylus as long as you've got a touch screen. And um, sometimes I play teacher versus student where I write their name, my name, and then they click and get points or money, and then we put it here. But one thing that I have started doing that they have really enjoyed is when I write on the screen, um, I can write their name. I have to turn that on. So I can put their name on here and then I can write their points on this side of the screen and um, have the other student here and then you can be, oh, I have two points, you have five points. The kids really enjoy that and then this stays up. Um, I don't have a solid background today. I'm not using my green screen today. I just have a curtain behind me. And so, um, 
I don't have a place where I can put something quickly and easily. So, um, and sometimes all of my whiteboards are written on in um, out of whiteboards. I can't have 500 whiteboards. <laughs> if you have a question about props, if you have a suggestion for props, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification button so you know when the next video is. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.